Hey Bulldogs, Chris Bryant, the Computer Certification Bulldog here, and in today's CCNP Video Boot Camp, we're going to do something a little bit different today. We're not going to take on a specific topic like we usually do or take a, a video practice exam. What we're going to do today is do a little bit of planning here at the beginning of your track and talk about the order in which you should take the CCNP exams. Now what I'm going to give you here is my recommendation. There is no absolute official word from Cisco, you know, you must take this exam and then you must take this one and then you must take this one. But almost every single day, and believe me, I love hearing from all of you, whether it's via Twitter, the blog, Facebook, email, uh, although I prefer Twitter. Uh, but every single day, I'll have someone say, well, I'm getting ready to start the NP, you know, what do you think I should do first? Well, I don't have that big a recommendation as the one you should take first, but I have a huge recommendation for you that will make life a lot easier on you as far as the exam that you should take last. Let's step back in time just a little bit and look at the previous exam track. We had a routing exam and we had a switching exam just like we do today. They're called something a little bit different, but still a routing exam is a routing exam. Then we had a security exam, basically, the ISCW, and the ONT, and that was just a little bit of everything, and we'll leave it at that. But that track really didn't build on itself. Most people would take the routing exam and then the switching exam first and then take the other two. But today's track is a lot different in that we have a troubleshooting exam. And to be able to troubleshoot anything, it's always a good idea, whenever possible, to be well versed in the fundamentals and the intermediate skills. And again, there is no official path for this three exam track, but I have a strong recommendation for the one that you should take last, and that should be the troubleshooting exam. And I'll tell you why. You're likely to be presented with questions and scenarios on there that you will be much better suited for handling if you have already taken the route exam and the switch exam and passed those. And there are two big reasons why. Multi-area OSPF and BGP. Because you didn't see either one of those in your CCNA studies. And believe me, when you take your switching exam, or excuse me, your CCMP switch exam, uh, you're going to see some advanced switch scenarios there, certainly. But especially with multi-area OSPF and BGP, you didn't see either one of those in your NA studies. And I know if you were like me when I took my NA, and of course when I teach it live or online now, you know, when I'm done with you with OSPF, you know, everybody's just exhausted. Because there is a lot of material there, right? And there's a tremendous amount of detail. But you have even more coming later in your NP studies. And you will be much better suited to pass the troubleshooting exam if you have already taken the route exam and already hit those particular topics. You don't really want to be studying how to troubleshoot something that you haven't seen before. It's not impossible, but it's not terribly practical, and that's particularly true of BGP. Because those of you who are watching this who have already taken that course with me or you've already passed the CCNP route exam, you know what I'm talking about. There's a ton of BGP on the CCNP route exam. There's none of it in the CCNA, which is fine with all of us. There's enough on the CCNA. But the key is you don't want to be troubleshooting BGP on the T-shoot exam if you haven't really seen it before and learned the fundamentals and learned how it operates in your CCNP route studies. You don't want to be asked, say, for example, um, how to troubleshoot a route reflector client or be shown a route reflector client configuration and be asked, you know, okay, is there anything wrong with this? And if there is something wrong with it, what's wrong with it? And you don't want to be sitting there going, okay, I think I know what a route reflector client is. You don't want to be that person. You want to say, okay, I know what a route reflector does. I know what a client does. I know what that config does, and here's the problem. So, again, no official path on this three exam path, but I do strongly recommend to you that you take that CCNP switch and route exam, get those two out of the way first, tackle those, and then take on the T-shoot exam to finish up your CCNP. Thanks for watching this particular video boot camp. I definitely want to ask you to join me out on the social media, but especially out on our tutorials page because I've got separate links there about halfway down for the switch, route, and T-shoot exams plenty of free resources, video practice exams, and the like. Thanks again for watching this video, and I'll see you out at the website.